Okay. Hi guys. Welcome back to another video. This is part two of how to make a Jado fan game. And this is how to make a timer for your fan game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, you're gonna have to use some models. The models will be in the description. But anyways, the first thing you want to do is just find a normal JTO portal, depending, it doesn't matter what portal you want. I'll just take some stupid one. Okay, that one doesn't work, but... Yeah, okay, so you need, you're just gonna want to find a normal JTO portal. So I'll just take this full kit and delete everything except the portal. So, yeah, just take the portal, wherever it is. Yeah, and I'm just going to put that into workspace and delete everything else. Like a pro. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, basically, you're just going to want to make your own personal portal. Do whatever you want with it. Like that. You can just, you're just gonna make your own, okay? Yeah, that's it. But, I'll just, I'll just take, oh. okay, that was some stupid thing. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna have the tower thing, and let's move it into position, put it in tower portal. And then let's take by this and put them right here. And also put them in the tower portal. And then delete everything else. Anyways, now we have a tower portal. Like so. You're a pro. Anyways, mm -hmm. now you have the tower portal. Now you're gonna go. It's, I don't really care what portal you have. But anyways, you're just going to now search up Jato Timer and pick this one called Jato Style Timer by H-O-V-A-R-T-0. And then you get this. So you might be like, oh, this is not a timer. Wow, he scammed me. He's so dumb. Well, actually, it is a timer. So, yeah. Just take this green thing and move it straight into here and boom also yeah you might want to make the tower portal cast yeah, shadow off but whatever you do do not drag timer start into the tower and yeah don't <laughs> let's just call this tower and let's go to buy Lexi. And there we go. Now we have a tower. Boom. And yeah, make sure this is can call it true. Or else, yeah. Also, yeah, take timer start stop and put it all around the spawn. Okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to move this a bit farther away. And yeah, now you have this away from the spawn. Make it one. It's already can collide false, so you don't have to worry about that. Anyways, yeah, this will stop the timer. If You can also put this in the win room. If you make a win room, then put this in the win room. We're just going to leave it here for now. And timer pause, you're just going to take that and put it under the map because if you put that basically what that does is let's just say you get to five seconds with the timer once you touch it it'll just stop and if you touch this it'll like remove like the pause will just like if it it'll, it'll stay at five the stop will change it back so yeah and then here's the tower portal 
Now we're just gonna go and we're gonna load in the Great Tower Adventure Kit. So I'm just gonna switch that up. And we have the kit. And I'm just gonna remove everything except the frame because that's what we're gonna do. For Whoops, okay. I meant, oh no. Yeah, but remove everything except the frame. And don't be dumb. Like me. What did I just do? Okay, I'm just gonna delete the kit entirely and then respawn the kit. Anyways, delete everything except the frame. Like a pro. And now you have this. So I'm just gonna put it right over here. Like that. Anyways, now we have a giant tower that's flying. So, yeah, we don't want it to fly. Well, yeah, we, you don't want it to fly. And now we have the tower. It looks like that. But how do you get in the tower, you man? Well, I have an always working teleporter skip that I need. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah, take the script and dr drag it into speedrun timer. Drag it into timer start. And then delete boy one. And then name this tower one. And then go to the script from timer start. Change this thing from boy one or boy two to tower one. And then, whatever you do, do not move Tower 1 out of TP, or move TP into anything else, because it'll break. Anyways, yeah, move Tower 1 to where you want it to go, so basically into here. And now, you can test it. So if you go play... And you go... And... And you look at tower, you can go into tower, and the timer will start. But if you reset, the, ta the timer's gone. And you can go back into tower, and the timer will be there. So, boom. There's a timer for you. It's pretty easy. Just follow my instructions, and you will get it. Bye, guys.